I don't know when I was going. Here's my review of Final. <sighs> Warning, major spoilers here. This is the last Marvel episode. It is a two hour episode that ends with what we all know would happen. <sighs> and it did not disappoint. Like, this was awesome. Okay. Um, what happens in the episode is that Apocalypse has, um, you know, been heading to Earth. Um, the reason why the League has not found out about this is because Oliver Queen, who is um, infected with the Omega symbol, um, has, you know, been screwing around with the satellite. So none of the League members have been able to, um, to find out about this yet. Um, while that's happening, Lois and Clark are, you know, complaining because Lois cancels the wedding in, um, in the last episode, and, um, Clark wants the wedding to go back on. Um, eventually, Lois, um, gets a letter from Clark, well, their vows, and it, and really, um, like, I know it's supposed to be, you know, a sweet and loving letter, but personally, it sounded like the letter was, like, written by Edward from Twilight, like, it was, like, really corny. Um, but that's just me. But, um, yeah, Lois, you know, realizes, like, you know, like, they should get married and everything. Um, and then, uh, while that's happening, Oliver Queen is being summoned by Desaad, Granny Goodness, and, um, Glorious Godfrey to, um, you know, give Clark a gold kryptonite ring. So, on the wedding day, when he gives Clark the ring and he wears it, um, he will lose his powers permanently. Well, that's what we're supposed to believe, but come on. We know that that's not going to work. Um, so, you know, Clark eventually starts to have the idea that maybe, like, it is a good thing that him and Lois don't get married. Um, and, like, you know, I'm like, oh, my God. You know, come on, just get to the marriage or anything. Like, you know, that kind of bothered me a bit. Um, like, you know, Clark is going through this whole thing, like, oh, maybe I should just, you know, like, you know, break myself away from my loved ones and everything. Like, really, do we have to go back to this? Um, like, I kind of find that really ridiculous. Um, so we had to talk with Oliver. Oliver's, um, you know, trying to get Clark to, you know, bring the wedding back on. Eventually the wedding is back on again, and Oliver's plan to, you know, get rid of Clark's powers for good seems to be working. Until, um, Chloe notices that the ring that, um, that he's about to give Clark is actually made of gold kryptonite. How she finds out about this, I'm not really sure, but uh, who cares? Um, so Clark and uh, Oliver have a big fight. Um, the reason why no one notices, you know, two people fighting is because like um, they have the entire um, church evacuated. So Oliver and Clark are fighting. Oliver has, you know, super strength now because of um, the power of uh, the anti-life or whatever's been controlling him. Um, so, Clark and Oliver are fighting. Clark tells Oliver that, you know, you could fight it, Oliver. You know, believe in yourself and all that crap. And it does work. He purges himself from um, Darkseid's hold and, uh, you know, gets rid of the ring. And right when they think everything's all fine and dandy, they look up in the sky and find out that the planet Apocalypse is, a, is there. And we end up getting a massive battle against the Wars of Apocalypse and the Heroes of Earth along with all the people who Darkseid has controlled, and we get an awesome battle where many will die. And it ends with Darkseid and Clark in their ultimate battle. Okay, that did not happen, but <laughs> come on. you Like, I really wish they did that. Um, but obviously they wouldn't have the budget for that. Um, like, this was, you know, like, still pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, there was, like, a lot of great moments for each character, um, one of them is Darkseid, which I am really happy that they finally have an awesome moment for Darkseid, and it made me really wish that Darkseid, um, was in the show a lot more, um, like, it, it kind of, like, you know, it kind of bothers me still that, you know, what they've done with him, making him a freaking cloud with birds in them, I don't know what's up with that, it still bothers me, and I'll, but I'll get to that later on in another video, um, but yeah, like, everybody gets a crowning moment of greatness. 
And also, we get a moment. We finally get that moment we've all been waiting for. A moment that we thought would never freaking happen. Lex Luthor returned. Oh, and Clark became Superman, but we all know that was going to happen. Lex Luthor finally comes back. Not the way I wished uh, he would come back, but he's still coming back nonetheless. And the actor that um, plays Lex Luthor did a great job reprising his role. Michael Rosenbaum is an awesome Lex Luthor, and it was great to have him back in this episode. Um, like, all the actors did an awesome job, and, like, they did a great job tying every scene in. Um, like, but, uh, I still have some problems, okay? Um, one is how they defeat Darkseid and, um, all of, you know, his minions, the Sod, Grand Ghost, and Godfrey. Like, how they defeated them was really anticlimactic, and I thought it was just, like, like, that could have gone a lot better. Like, I, like it, it felt really just, you know, underwhelming for me. Um, especially with the battle with Clark and Darkseid. Where Darkseid, um, you know, encounters Clark in the barn. Um, you know, he attacks Clark. Clark has his, you know, flashbacks of all of uh, the past events. And, you know, since this is a series finale, I'm not surprised. Um, Clark and Darkseid, you know, uh, finally encounter each other. Clark runs into Darkseid. Darkseid, you know, you know, blows up. And that's it. That's really the big climactic battle with Clark and Darkseid. Um, and how Granny Goodness, Desaad, and Godfrey were defeated is that Oliver Queen shows up in uh, his green arrow getup and shoots them with arrows and they're defeated. Um, like, I thought that, like, really? That's how you're going to end all that? Seriously? Um, also, I wished um, that we had like, more characters involved. Like, for example, I wish the new gods were involved in uh, the finale. I know they had the whole thing with budgets and they couldn't hire enough actors for all those characters, but still, it would have been kind of cool. Like, at least Orion should show up. Come on. Um, also, um, like, we don't get to see the Justice League or the Justice Society. Like, I thought, you know, those guys should show up for, like, you know, the series finales and it's something that's going to be really big. Um, and also, um, something that, the, like, I got a comment on when I talked about, um, when I talked about my thoughts and Shoreway Boom and Smallville. Um, like, someone commented saying that, you know, Shoreway is probably going to be there because they thought Darkseid's way too powerful for Clark to defeat alone, so they need Shoreway to, you know, help him out. And, you know, I thought that, that's a good theory. Like, maybe that could happen. And that doesn't happen. Like, uh. I thought, what was the point of having Connor in this series if you're just going to have him in one episode? Like, really, I, I found it just ridiculous that Connor was in this series. Um, but uh, that's, like, the only problems I really had with it. Um, like, I really enjoyed this. And it did a great job, you know, tying everything up and making it actually feel more like a Superman uh, series, especially at the ending, uh, where everything is, you know, as it should be. Like, Lex Luthor doesn't know who Clark is because of what Tess does to him, um, in the end. Um, Jimmy Olsen's, well, Henry Olsen's brother, Jimmy Olsen, is, you know, working at the Daily Planet. Clark is, you know, officially the Clark Kent he's meant to be. And Lois Lane and Clark are about to get married, and Clark Kent's officially Superman. Like, it did a great job tying everything up very well. Um, like, I really enjoyed this finale, and it's kind of sad to see the series go, but come on. We can't... This series couldn't go on forever. Um, and that's all I really gotta say. I really did enjoy it, despite of the problems I had with it. I really did think this was an awesome finale, and uh, that's all I really gotta say. Um... I hope you liked this video, and I really hope that you loved the Smallville series as much as I did. That's all I gotta say. Goodbye.